Uh, first time we're doing anything like this, this is going to be a comparison, but I think it's going to be an interesting one because it is a comparison between your classic Gary Yamamoto Cinco, which has just been a staple of the fishing world for so long, versus the new Guggen Baits Lunker Log. Now these don't come out until I cast, which is in like three weeks, and you're probably wondering how we got a hold of these. Um, story behind it, true story by the way, we went out to Texas for the grand opening of their um, new store, and we snuck in the back, there was like all kinds of stuff going on in the front, they were all distracted, we snuck in the back, and dude, there was just like boxes of baits, and we started ripping some open, and as soon as we laid eyes on their version of the Cinco, I was like, dude, gotta have them. Started just getting like an armful of them. As soon as I grab an armful and start to head to the door, Rob actually sees what's going on, and he, dude, starts running at us, and... I mean, as y'all know, like Rob's a pretty intimidating dude. He's got tattoos. He's been to war, but one throat punch and he went down. Found out he's kind of soft. And then Flair, same thing. He's coming up and he sees what's going on. He sees us running out with lunker logs. He's like, "No, not the lunker logs." And so uh, he comes running up. I kicked him in the lunker log, and then we took out of there armful of Guggen baits, headed back to Atlanta, and now here we are with their secret stash. First cast, baby. No, it came off. <sighs> Completely kidding. I made that entire story up. Here's the real story. So Rob just came in town, flew in from Texas to fish with us in Georgia. Took him to some South Georgia lakes. Those episodes will be coming out on his channel. We'll also be doing an episode on our channel of that trip. He's also to come uh, hunting with us this fall uh, in the suburbs of Atlanta. So stay tuned for that. That should be interesting. But. The real story is he came in town, he shipped these to my house, and we were supposed to take them down south with us, uh, but they did not get here in time, so we had to leave without them. Got back from our trip, there's a box on my doorstep, open them up, and it's this massive stash of their brand new baits that haven't come out yet. Um, got permission from him to do this video. Don't want to upset anybody by doing this before they launch. Um, but the truth is these are coming out in like three weeks and we have, this is the first look at them. So I'm going to try my best to not be biased in any way, uh, in this review. Um, and, and then that, that, go, that goes both ways. Uh, I just fished with Rob, super good dude. We had a lot of fun together. He's a good buddy. Um, so I don't want to be biased towards their Guggen baits. I also don't want to be biased towards the Cinco because I've fished it since I was like 12 years old. Um, it's always been my go-to bait, and uh, I've got a lot of you know loyalty to it. The, the two main things that I think that we're going to test uh, are going to be, one is going to be the action, and the Cinco has a good shimmy to it, and I think that's why fish love it so much. It's just got that tight wobble as it falls. So the action, I want to. We're going to get in a pool here in a minute uh, and get some underwater footage and watch how this baits fall and the shimmy it has. Compare the two, and then the other big comparison for me at least is its durability. Um, I want to see how many fish you can catch on a certain worm before it tears up and you got to throw a new one because I fly through these stick baits. Um, so we're going to go to a golf course pond that I've fished for years and. Um, go out there and there's a lot of fish in there. So we're gonna catch a bunch of numbers on these baits, test their durability. Uh, at first glance, the packaging, um, here's your Senko, your Yamamoto Senko. I mean, everyone's, everyone's seen these. Um, never complained about the packaging, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, I will say on the packaging, I do like how these come in the little sleeves, the little plastic sleeves inside. Um, that's kind of a new trend that's happening, and I actually like it. I think it just kind of protects the bait. Uh, there's probably, I don't know, eight different colors of the Guggen baits here, and they've got some pretty sweet colors. Um, so as color you know, patterns go, I'd say they're probably even. They both have great colors. Uh, so again, that goes back for me. I think the main thing that's going to be the, the kind of the determining factor for me is the action and the durability of these worms. So with that being said, we're gonna take it to the pool and see how these things act underwater.
All right, we just finished up the first round, which was the pool test, checking out the action and the shimmy. Um, they're actually really comparable, which I was pretty surprised about, because uh, just by feel, the Senko is definitely softer. Um, Guggen Base is a little bit firmer, so I was expecting there to be a huge different difference in action. It was actually pretty comparable. Sink rate was really close. But I think if we had to choose, if we had to crown a winner on the shimmy contest, I think the Senko would take it. Um, we are on to our next step, which is step two, durability, headed to our golf course pond. And oh, by the way, something I need to get off my chest. <laughs> per the last video that we showed, uh, where we caught those two 10 pounders, y'all quit looking for my ponds. We're on a golf course right now. Don't, don't y'all be Google mapping this stuff. Don't be, don't be hitting up my ponds now. All right, I'm starting with a lunker log. Keeping the colors the same, both fishing green pumpkin, green pumpkin Senko, green pumpkin lunker log. Again, trying to be as unbiased and even keeled as possible. Oh, first cast, baby. No, it came off. Ooh, one just ate it right there. Got him. Got him. There's one. And she's still in shape. Okay. There's actually a couple different ways to fish these things, these stick baits. And I'm like not kidding. I grew up on the, the Yamamoto Senko. So I've kind of learned a few different ways to fish it. One way is you throw it out and let it sink, go all the way down and you just kind of sweep it with your rod, drag it. But how I actually like to fish it, these, these baits dart so well when you, when you twitch them that I'll let mine go all the way to the bottom and then I'll kind of pop my rod and twitch it and that thing's just darting around like crazy down there. And then I'll kill it and let it sink back down. Pop it, pop it, pop it, kill it. He's on there. Oh gosh. Dang it. He took my worm. See, that's one of the biggest problems with a Senko. It has awesome action because it's so soft, but if a fish just grabs the tail of it, nine times out of 10, it's just gonna either tear the worm in half or pull it off your hook because of how soft it is. Um, and that's really one of the biggest complaints I have with the Senko. They're like something like seven or $8 a pack. Um, so I'm hoping these Guggen Lunker Logs are a little bit more durable so you can get three or four fish out of one worm. Oh. Got that one. It's a Senko fish. Oh, wow. No worm. That fish shook my Senko. like gone. All right, it looks like there's some fish like right up on the bank. So I'm gonna try just swimming this thing across the top of the water um, and see if we can get a reaction strike. There we go, there's one. Finally, yes. Fish number two on the Senko. I think this worm actually has Maybe one more fish left in it. Ooh, rim beds. Oh! Big and, big and dude. Oh God, get out of that, get out of that. Yeah. I mean, he's not huge, but for these places he is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, let's go. Ah, 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 quit, 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 quit. Dude, for these ponds, this is a big fish. Yeah. This is like one of the biggest ones I've caught out of here. That pond looks so much better than this one. Let's go, baby. I was not expecting that. Uh, that was a, actually, no, I can't tell you. I'm gonna turn the camera away and then tell him. That was a longer log. That was pretty cool. Thank you, fish. Try not to throw you too far.
All right, guys, this pond already looks a lot better than that first one. Doesn't look like they've really done much to it since the last time we were here. Oh, there's one right there. No! That was a pretty big fish. And I just broke my line. Son of a gun. I guess an update you've seen it. But anyways, I have two fish on my first lunker log, five fish on my last lunker log. In my first Senko, I had one fish, uh, and then it threw the bait, and now I'm back onto the Senko. So let's see what this one does. There's one. That ain't a bad one either. That is not a bad fish. For this pond, that is a really good fish. Uh, but it threw my Senko. So far, Senko's been good for one fish. Got him. Get out of that tree. Get out of that tree. I don't, oh, he's still on there. Yep, there he is. Lost my lunker log though. So. All right. I think, I think we have enough data to uh, not necessarily come up with a winner, but know the differences between the Senko and the lunker log. What'd I want to hear your data. You I feel like I got really good hear, data. You want to hear my data first? Yes. All right, so I started off with the Senko. I know the Cinco catches fish. Like I said, I've been fishing that thing for forever. That was probably the first bait that I, I grew up that on. I ever, yeah, that's the first bait I ever fished. Like that and a shaky head. Um, like I would hammer, you know, neighborhood ponds with those baits and they catch a ton of fish, super soft. Uh, it's really dense, denser than any other stick bait out there. Um, and just has that perfect little shimmy. So I knew it catches fish, but I also knew that it's not very durable. The Lunker Log, I only got to fish it on this pond and first impression is that it's way more durable i don't know if it catches more fish or less fish or what i mean it probably has a slightly less action than a cinco does but um i mean the fish ate both of them so which one the i think it'd be prefers? impossible to find out like which one you get bit on more the cinco definitely has i think a little more shimmy um whether that gets you more bites or not i have no idea start with a lunker log caught two fish my second lunker log, I caught five fish. My third lunker log, I caught one fish. And he got hung up in a tree, so I don't know if that had anything to do with it or not. But every Senko I used uh, was worth one fish. So I think I think I kind of knew this coming in because like you could feel it and it was a little more durable. So you might be sacrificing some action, but I also think that you're getting more longevity out of a bait. So there's give and take there. Um, I don't know if the extra shimmy in a Senko gets you more bites or not, I have no idea. More bang for your buck for sure in the Lunker Log, uh, and then more action in the Senko. So I actually am curious to hear, we wanna hear what you guys think about, which one would you choose, Lunker Log versus Senko? Leave us a comment, leave us a comment, let us know what you think. They're gonna have to wait for a couple weeks because I don't think these things are released until what, July? Yeah, you 11th? guys can't get them yet. <laughs> July 11th, we're ahead of you. Um, for those of you that just subscribed, be sure to check out our old deer hunting videos. Deer season is all around the corner and we got some really cool videos dropping in August. We have a 193 inch deer. We got a Drew's 186. We got a giant old six pointer. And we got another big like 140 inch eight pointer coming. All those videos are coming in August. So be sure to stay tuned for that. One thing we're doing differently this year, we're gonna do uh, vlog style videos all throughout hunting season, showing you guys exactly what it takes to find these suburban deer and kill them. Um, so be sure to subscribe and turn the notifications on because hopefully starting in the next couple weeks, um, we're gonna start we're gonna start putting out a bunch of content um, and we're gonna share some trail cam pictures of these bucks that we're hunting this year <laughs> I'll do it I don't know if Lee's gonna do it we're gonna we'll cross that bridge when we get there but uh, we want you got you guys to kind of follow along with our season um, and just kind of see what we do preseason and then when the season rolls around September 14th I think is when it starts um, we're gonna show you how to get it done. So be sure to like, subscribe, and again, let us know which one you choose in the comments section. Lunker log, Cinco. I got a fish on.
No, I don't. <laughs> See you guys.